Hello, hello, grade 12s. Welcome back to the channel, Science Therapy, hosted by the one and only science therapist, Abu Dewasos Ugobela Wemets. And without any further ado, let's look at this question that we have here. Ah. Okay, so we have question six still on chemical equilibrium. It says initially, four moles of hydrogen gas and four moles of iodine gas are allowed to react in a sealed 2DM cube flask according to the following balanced equation. So we can see our equation just like that. Then it says the graph below shows the concentration of hydrogen gas and hydrogen iodide versus air time during the reaction. Then 6.1.1, it's saying write down uh, the value of Y. Now, what is the value of Y? We can see that Y here represents the concentration initially of uh, the hydrogen gas. Remember, it's happening in time uh, T0. So that means it is uh, the initial, right? Now, to calculate that, uh, we simply need to use the formula C is equal to N over V and then take our number of moles divided by the given volume. So 4 divided by 2 would obviously give us 2 mole per dm cube. And just like that, for one mark, uh, we have written down the value of Y. Now, 6.1.2 says a uh, state Lichardless principle. So quickly. So that's it. That's how we define it. States that when an equilibrium in a closed system is disturbed, the system will reinstate a new equilibrium by favoring the reaction that will oppose the disturbance. Okay, then we have 6.1.3. It says changes were made to the temperature of the flask at, at time t2 was the flask heated or cooled right so now it's a matter of checking remember we first identified that our forward reaction is an exothermic reaction right so we know factually a decrease in temperature favors the exothermic reaction and an increase in temperature favors the endothermic reaction. Now, looking at this two here, it's representing the concentration one of the product, which would explain what is uh, happening to the forward reaction. And then we also have H2, which would explain what is happening to the reverse reaction since it's a reactant. Now, at time uh, T2, we can see that here there is an increase in the concentration of the product. Now, an increase in the concentration of the product if the concentration of the product become greater than the concentration of the reactants. This tells us that the forward reaction is favored. So forward reaction is favored, right? But then what favors the forward reaction? We know that a forward reaction is, a, a, according to this, our forward reaction is exothermic. So we know that the exothermic reaction is favored by a what? A decrease in temperature. So this would mean that 6.1.3, we are going to say it's cooled. And then now let's explain. <clears throat> so we say number one, uh, at time T3, uh, we can see that the concentration HI is greater than concentration of H2, right? which means the forward reaction is favored. The forward reaction is favored. But we know the forward reaction is forward reaction is exothermic. Why do we say it's exothermic? The P change is less than zero. Now, if the forward reaction is exothermic and the forward reaction is favored, that means we know that a decrease in temperature favors the exothermic reaction, favors the exothermic reaction. So which means for this effect, the temperature was obviously cold. Cold means the temperature was decreased. Okay, let's proceed now. The equation below represents the reversible reaction that takes place when a NO2 gas is converted to N N2O4 gas. We can see uh, our chemical equation there. And now they're saying initially X mole of NO2 is sealed in a 1DM cube container at 350 kelvins. When equilibrium is established at this temperature, 
81 mole and 204 gas is present in the container. Then we have 6.2.1 says, write down the meaning of the term reversible reaction. So another definition there. So what is a reversible reaction? So we know that reversible reaction simply means that uh, this is a reaction where, so it means products can be converted back to reactants, back to reactants. So that's how you define it. Products can be converted back to reactants. That's a reversible reaction. Okay, now uh, it's a mark. 6.2.1, 6.2.2 meant to say, uh, it's saying show that uh, the equilibrium constant for this reaction is given as that. So let me just have a clean page for that. So now let's begin. We have our rice table like that, as we already know, that's the first thing we should do. And then uh, let's check now. We are given that initially uh, X mole of NO2. So we have X mole of NO2 there. And then first thing, what's the ratio? If we can just drop here our coefficients, that's two and one. And then we have X mole here. But then remember, at the beginning of the reaction, there are no products. So it's zero. And then uh, let's read again. What are they saying? So they're saying uh, X mole is sealed in a 1 dm cube container at 350K. When equilibrium is established at this temperature, 0 0.81 mole and 204 is present in the container. So at equilibrium, the number of moles of the N2O4 is 0 0.81. So we're just going to go here at equilibrium for N2O4. That's 0 0.81, right? Now, obviously, if we are saying that products are being formed, the forward reaction is favored. Then that means the change in the number of moles here is 0 0.81. Eight one right, so that means it increased by zero point eight one. Initially, it was zero, increased by zero point eight one, and now it's at zero point eight one at equilibrium. Right, then we know that the change block always relates to the ratio so like this, and then this is how we're going to find that. So to find the number of moles here, the ratio is one is to two, meaning that uh, there has to be double the number of moles here because we're gonna say zero point eight one multiplied by two, then divided by one. So what is the value that we'll get there? So if we cross multiply that, we get 1.62 here. But then remember, uh, we always said on the reactant side, that means we have to say X minus 1.62. But then remember, they said that the volume is one. So if you, if you are using the formula C is equals to N over V, then it's just your number of moles divided by the volume of one still remains the same. X minus six, X minus 1.62 as your concentration. And also here 0 0.81 divided by one still remains 0 0.81, right? So in order to uh, now write your KC expression, so this will be KC is equals to concentration of the product over concentration of the reactant and then the concentration of the product that's as 0 0.81 concentration of the reactant that's x minus 1.62 and then square that so we do not have the value for kc so this means this is our kc expression uh, in terms of x right and then that's how they wanted us to write it so as we can see there they said show that the equilibrium constant for this reaction is given by that and then that's a uh, 0 0.81 over x minus uh, 1.62 so it's not visible but then yeah that's that's how they wanted us to uh, express that one okay so this would be the way in which we express our KC and then we are done. Remember, it's in terms of X. Okay, when we go to the next question, it says 0 0.79 moles of N2O4 is now added to the equilibrium mixture above. When the new equilibrium is established at 350K, it is found that the amount of NO2 increased by 1.2 moles. Calculate the value of X. So now they want us to calculate the value of X, but note that they said number one, 0 0.79 moles of N2O4 was now added 
to the equilibrium mixture so this is where now they're moving from this firstly established equilibrium to a newly established equilibrium now remember in that case i said the equilibrium of the 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 content in the equilibrium previously will now be the initial amount in the uh, calculation for the new equilibrium right so that means in starting that one again let's find our clean page then bring that one back okay so now we have 6.2.3 above here we have a statement it says 0 0.79 moles of n2o4 is now added to the equilibrium mixture above when the new equilibrium is established at 350k it is found that the amount of no2 increased by uh, 1.2 moles right okay so we are still working with the same reaction which means the ratios are still the same that's two is to one but then note what happened now they said uh, they added they added 0 0.79 moles of n2o4 at equilibrium now understand that if we are moving from an old equilibrium which is this to establish a new equilibrium then the number of moles at equilibrium would have to be the number of moles initially at the new equilibrium that we are trying to establish right so remember it's moving from this one what was the final part here the equilibrium uh, amount will now be the beginning amount or the initial amount when we are about to establish a new equilibrium right so that means initially the number of moles that we have are these ones for no2 so that's x minus 1.62 and then the number of moles initially that we have uh, for for the n2o4 is 0 0.81 but then remember they said at equilibrium at that particular equilibrium right they added 0 0.79 so that means immediately here we come and say 0 0.81 plus 0 0.79 so they added at this equilibrium which is representing the initial so that means now it does it, it no longer enters with 0 0.81 it enters with that increase in the number of moles which will now give us what 1.6 but then according to the chartless principle we now understand what has been done they have increased the concentration of the product and then we know an increase in concentration of the product will now favor what favors the reverse reaction right note that so now an increase in the concentration of the product will now have to favor the reverse reaction so what does that mean now when you read further here they said uh, at equilibrium it is found that the amount of no2 increased by 1.2 now that's the meaning of that it increased the amount of what of the reactant now you see the amount of the reactant now increased by 1.2 now if it increased by 1.2 the meaning that the reverse reaction is favored is the fact that now we have to add on the reactant side remember the meaning of that means that on the reactant side now we have to say i plus c is equals to e and on the product side now we have to say i minus c is equals to e because by them increasing the concentration of the product now they favor the reverse reaction now the whole uh, equation changes so the here we are supposed to have 1.2 so to find the number of moles at equilibrium that's i plus c is equals to e so this means x minus 1.62 plus 1.2 which is supposed to give us x minus 0 0.42 right and then here to find the one on change we know that the change block always relates to the ratio block so if the ratio is 2 is to 1 and then we have 1.2 here we are supposed to say 1.2 multiplied by 1 then divided by 2 right and then uh, we are going to find 0 0.6 here but then how are we going to find uh, the number of moles at equilibrium this time we will not add this time we will have to subtract so that's 1.6 minus uh, 0 0.6 then we get one right one mole now to find the concentration 
Remember, the volume did not change, right? The volume remained the same. So the volume is still that 1 TM cube. So nothing was done to the volume. That means uh, if we take the number of moles divided by 1, that's x minus 0 0.42. And then 1 divided by 1, that's still uh, 1, right? Now to determine our KC expression for this reaction here, let me erase here. So that means to determine the KC expression, I need to say now KC is equal to concentration again of N2O4 and then over the concentration of NO2. But this time around, what is my concentration for this one here? It's one. And then uh, what's my concentration for the NO2? That's X minus 0 0.42. And then let's not forget that our ratio is two. So we need to square that. Now at this point, uh, that's KC is equal to that. Remember that saying we must determine the value of X. Now, if my KC initially was this, and now my KC, uh, it's now that. We know that the KC here remains the same because what did we change? We simply changed uh, the concentration. Now, concentration does not affect our KC value. So the, ke the chemical equilibrium uh, position shifted, but then the KC value still remained the same because the only factor that can affect the KC or change the KC is temperature. So in other words, we can call this equation one and call this equation two, and then confidently say that equation one will be equal to equation two because the KC in here, it's supposed to be the very same KC there. So now to calculate, we'll say equate equation one and equation so that means uh, we have our 0 0.81 over uh, x minus 1.62 square will be equated to 1 over x minus 0 0.42 and then a square. Now to get rid of these squares, we can square root both sides like that. And then here we're going to end up with 0 0.9 over so here we're only gonna get rid of those squares x minus six x minus one point six two and then one over x minus zero point four two. This point we just need to cross multiply here. So this will give us zero point nine x or let me just do like this. Let me start with this this side. So I will have one times x that's x and then one times a uh, negative 1.62, that's still negative 1.62. Then if I cross multiply like this, that's 0 0.9x, and then 0 0.9 multiplied by negative 0 0.42, it's supposed to give us negative 0 0.378, according to my calculator. Then uh, if I further calculate here, this is x minus 0 0.9x. So because of that, like terms and then 0 0.378 if i take that over to the side that's plus 1.62 so here i'm going to get 0 0.1 x is equals to and then this is supposed to be 0 0.1 and then 0 0.1 so x is equals to 12.42 moles because that x represented the number of moles so moles so let's just write the SI unit mole. So 12.42 moles. Right, and then that's how you were supposed to calculate uh, that. So if you've found it helpful and then you have enjoyed the lesson, please press the thumbs up button. And if you've been watching the videos and haven't subscribed yet, please, please, please hit the subscribe button. But most importantly, Please share the link with your friends and classmates so that they may also find assistance. Remember, do not be selfish. We are winning as a team.